a mom noticed the state of her son's hands on picture day and broke down in tears it was yearbook picture day for Cassandra Lane's son Zeke at first the proud mom thought that her child would just be having a headshot taken but when she realized his senior photo would feature his hands which were stained from working all summer long she found herself tearing up much of Lane's life is dedicated to bettering the lives of children professionally she's a teacher personally meanwhile she's a wife to Brandon and mother to five children including a daughter whom she adopted Lane even serves as a foster mom to a growing baby but if that wasn't enough to keep her busy already Lane also keeps a blog in fact the super mom regularly shares stories about her three sons and two daughters via Facebook and one such tale involved her son Zeke who was going into his senior year of high school in July of 2018 Lane and Zeke had gone to have his senior portrait taken for the school yearbook and the mom of five thought that the photo would just be that a portrait understandably then she didn't worry about the way her son's hands looked you see Zeke's hands were a little grubby from work Lane wrote in a Facebook post earlier this week we went to get Zeke's senior yearbook pictures on the way I noticed his hands working hands hands that looked familiarly like my dad's work stained hands and like Brandon's in the early years of our marriage in spite of his mom's adoration of his dirt stained hands Zeke probably wasn't so keen on having mucky hands on that given day they might show up in the photos after all but Lane calmed his nerves explaining I told him not to worry about it because they were just doing headshots however when Lane and Zeke arrived she realized that notion was incorrect as we sat in line I noticed the kids in letterman jackets with their class rings she wrote indeed the other students accessories seemed to signify that they'd be posing with their hands at the forefront of their portraits and that realization made Lane tear up in fact it made her scrutinize her choices as a mother have I given him everything a parent should give to their child as he's grown up she questioned Lane then described how her son had gotten his hands dirty in the first place he works out in the heat 30 to 40 hours a week during the summer she wrote it all transpired meanwhile that Zeke has never requested the accessories that his classmates done that day unhappily all these thoughts gave way to self-doubt for Lane the mommy comparison game tells me I didn't show how much I love him with things she wrote and when they left the photo shoot the mom of five was feeling bad about herself what's more Lane even admitted to spending the next few days crying a lot as she reflected on her feelings eventually she decided to apologize to Zeke for the way he was raised but her son's reaction clearly wasn't one that Lane was expecting Zeke laughed at me Lane recalled before remembering that Zeke then said why are you sorry because you've taught me to work hard for things I want the youngster continued because I know the value of a dollar because I'm not going to think I deserve to have everything I want and Lane felt even more vindicated in her parenting decisions after speaking to her sister you see Lane's sibling reiterated an important lesson that the mom of five knew to be true deep down she reminded me that the best things in life aren't things Lane wrote and with that Lane knew that she had to share her story with other moms who might be feeling the way she did she infused her advice with a bit of her faith too as that had also helped make her feel better about senior portrait day Lane's message on Facebook continued mamas if you're struggling with the parenting comparison game just know that God gave you the babies you have because he wanted you you to be their mama not someone else Lane then finished her post by sharing a couple of short anecdotes about her son and it was clear that Zeke's self-sufficiency and work ethic made her proud not ashamed Zeke has taken his brother shopping for a canoe today using money that he earned himself Lane wrote the proud parent also added that her son drove to the store in a vehicle that he fixed with his own hands and gas he paid for by himself so it certainly seemed that Lane had indeed raised her son very well I'm not ready for Zeke to grow up Lane concluded but I think he's well on his way and with that she shared her post and the message clearly resonated with the Facebook users who read it in fact just over two months later her story had garnered 115,000 reactions and 47,000 shares the post also received 13,000 comments many of which provided Lane with even more support of her parenting skills Janelle Walker wrote that guilt-ridden comparison game good job mama despite your doubts and self-perceived shortcomings you raised him well 